What's up homies, it's Wazza and today I'm going to be giving you a bit of an insight as to what it's like being a pro rider. Now, when you're a pro rider sponsored in any shape or form, you're actually a marketing tool for whatever brand you're representing. And what I mean by that is kids are going to see you, they're going to notice you, what you're wearing, what you're riding, etc. and they're going to want it. If they like what you're doing, they're going to want it. So people always want to be repping the brands that are repping them. And I learned that off Brandon Lupos. He was telling me, like, I had a like, van sticker on my helmet and whatnot. He was like, dude, van's hooking you up. I'm like, nah, I pay for that product. Like, I like them though. And he's like, yeah, but think about it. He's like, you're just giving them free promo. So what I recommend is that if you're not sponsored, rep whatever brands you want, right? Rep whatever brands you would like to be sponsored by and give those guys a shout out. Because if you're getting somewhere or if kids are noticing you or people are noticing you and you're riding and stuff, they're seeing your stickers, the brands that you're repping, they're going to be intrigued to buy those products. And if you support them, that's great. They're going to notice your support one day and hopefully that could turn into something great for you. But if you're sponsored, you should solely be representing the brands that are representing you. And that's something I've really taken on board over the last few months. And I've tried not to represent brands that aren't really doing anything for me. So most importantly, on your helmet, rep yourself, right? Instagram stickers. Run one of them. Seriously, kids are going to see you and they're going to say, damn, who's that guy? Or if they know you, they're going to check. They're going to, oh, is that was it? That was it? They'll look on your helmet. They'll see the Instagram sticker. They will follow you and support you. Instagram is a massive, massive tool that we have to use to our advantage. Next, YouTube. Right, YouTube is the new craze, and I'm telling you right now, kids don't look for your Instagram sticker anymore. They want to know what your YouTube is, and they want to subscribe to your channel. So you're obviously watching this. You're on my channel. Click subscribe. Don't be a stingy dog, and make sure you hit that little notification bell. But what I'm really talking about right now is bringing people and audience to your social media. So when you've got an audience, the greater the audience, the more likely you are to get a better sponsorship or to get better products. So next is repping those brands. So for me, the most important brand to rep is the one that hooks me up the hardest and that's Envy, right? I'm gonna be running one of these on my helmet for sure. I'm always pretty much wearing one of the shirts and I'm always riding that scooter. Was there Sig Deck? They're on sale now pretty much every store around the world, so get into it. Next, were you. I'm not really allowed to elaborate on this brand just yet, but I will get there in like a few weeks. I think I'm allowed to talk about it. And I'll make a video for you guys so you'll really understand what's going on. Other than that, Monster. These guys have been around for the start for me. And of course, they hooked it up with my brand new helmet. So this time around, I got the blacked out POC. I've been running a black and white version of these for a while now. And it's honestly the best helmet I've ever ridden in. Now, I'm not being biased. I'm not saying anything. They did hook it up. But these things are so light and so comfy. And most importantly, they're certified. So you can enter all the competitions. It's just covered by a safety rating and it's gonna save your brain. Now let's get into the tools that you're gonna need to make your helmet look sick. First one, lighter, okay? So what that's gonna do is heat up the stickers and pretty much make them a lot more elastic-y to kind of fine tune and wrap around the curve of your helmet and also those tight edges. To trim those edges, you're gonna want a blade or some scissors. Now, this is a cutthroat blade that I got off my mum who's a hairdresser. You wouldn't know by these bangs, but these are pretty gnarly and pretty dangerous. They could cut you super easy. They used to shave hair, so this is not something to mess with. So, safety warning, if you're under 18, say, and you've never used one of these, or under 16, don't use these without someone else, or don't use a Stanley knife without someone else there watching you who knows how to use it, who can advise you if you're doing it right or wrong, or even just do it for you. Last but not least, you're going to need scissors because some stickers just don't bend and it's not exactly the best idea to be cutting with that blade, so you want to just cut them stickers up with this. But, let's get that GoPro angle going and get it done. So now, you can probably see the POC helmet. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's got the POC stickers on it and I'm not sponsored by them. I am going to be wearing the helmet, which is pretty good promo if you ask me. So I'm going to just clean it up and make it a nice clean surface by taking these stickers off. Now that I've given it a bit of a clean, I am going to play with the sticker positioning and stuff like that. I don't really have a game plan as to yet, so I'm just going to grab some of the stickers like so, move them around and try and find the best spots that they can fit because at the end of the day, I want them all to look good on my helmet, so I'm going to do that before I actually stick any down. So let's get it done. <laughs> All 
Alright, so I don't really have the idea, but I've kind of got one, so I'm just going to hit it now. I've kind of put different ones in different spots as to what I'm going to use. First things first though, I'm going to attack this big dog, and I've kind of made up my mind how I'm going to do it. This one is kind of important, so what I'm going to do now, and what I'll show you is like, literally just make some cuts. It's, oh, I've grabbed the scissor. The more flexible your sticker is when you're putting it down, means the less chance that it's going to bubble or catch anything and you'll literally just be able to move it a lot freer and that'll mean overall you're going to have a better looking sticker. So now you really want to push out any like of the sides, any of the bubbles, anything like that. And if you do get them, just come back. You can start the whole thing again. Most stickers are pretty good so they'll let you kind of do the work. It's pretty cool. Pretty happy with it, but with these stickers, it's always important not to let up easy because you're still going to have to push out some bumps. So while the outer layer is on, I'm just going to get in there right now and try and spread some of these bubbles that you may have. I don't know if you can see them, whatever. Mine are pretty, pretty small, but whenever you've got like a, such a large sticker on a round surface, you're going to have to deal with that kind of thing. And it's not always going to work perfect, so be prepared that it might not look 150% but that's why you've got these tools to try and make it look its best. The next thing is to apply pressure so when you've got like a die cut stick like this it usually comes in two parts which is an outer layer and a back so the outer layer you actually peel off once you've peeled the back off and already stuck it on as you can see it's got this clear thing which is the outer layer that I'm talking about and it's just like a, a thing to help a layer to help you apply the sticker Alright, so overall it looks pretty good. The other trick you can do when you're applying stickers is to use a pin and if you have any bubbles, kind of pop the pin. So you don't want to burn anything, you literally just want to heat it up so it's a little more elastic -y. So what I'm going to do now is, you can use a credit card, you can use anything like that. I don't know where one is. I'm going to use my Nando's membership and we're just going to like push against it. Now you don't want to like push too hard that you scratch your helmet or the sticker or anything you just want to kind of get a nice kind of steady push on it and you should see it moving they might not move very far at first but if you're just persistent it's going to pay off so put in the time and you will have a fresh looking sticker job so you kind of just want to give it a nice little one and what that's going to do is give it a nice sharp edge so it's already you can kind of see it forming to the helmet a little bit better now I'm going to get the blade and what that's going to do is just give it room to move. So what I mean by that is the thing bends in all different ways. So you want it to bend whatever way is best for it. Give it a little trim there. Like you can see how easy this um, blade is cutting the sticker. So if you're doing this at home, be really careful. All right, now we're going to go again. Give it a little job on the inside. Now what that's doing is just melting it around the edge of your helmet. Now the thing is, r blades don't necessarily bend. So you've kind of just got to be very careful when you're coming around the bend or hit it from a few different angles and whenever you're like cutting towards yourself try not to apply too much pressure because that is just red hot and you don't want to accidentally just slip out of whatever you're cutting and cut yourself because you are going to be fried. So there you go guys. Like I said it's not too clean on the underside but when you're actually wearing the helmet it's pretty clean. Alright, so I'm going to come back to this side, but I'm going to flip it over to this one now, give it a little go. I think I'm going to run that one there, and these two back here. Alright, here we go. YouTube sticker going on. So when you've got these kind of die cut stickers, you really need to rub down on them. Make sure that they've stuck properly, and then when they have, you just peel on this outside layer. I don't know about you guys, but that one looks sick. I'm actually so hyped on the way that turned out. So now with this, I'm going to give this a little trim. It was an Instagram sticker, but I'm going to run it purely for my YouTube. They are the same name, but I just don't want it to be too linked. That's going to be sick. I don't really know the exact color of these, or if it's the exact same. Are a little different so if it looks silly I'm sorry but I got these stickers of two different guys or people should I say they both weren't guys 
that's not straight and try and peel that one off again nope it's not coming off <laughs> let's just go with it for now hopefully the colors aren't too different they kind of look it now but they didn't just before so yeah see it's not too you can see that it's not perfectly straight but it still looks sick and i actually think the colors are almost identical so that actually looks really cool now for the wii u one i'm just gonna have a little sauce or something oh that actually looks so cool damn all right this is changing things up now see that works it really does work it could look terrible when i actually do it but let's just check this out right now so if i run that one like that the insta one there and then on this side i can run either that wii u I can run it there i can't run the big one though which kind of sucks because i did want to rep that really hard let me know in the comments below what one you think I should run, whether I should run the Wii U one there, or the, whether I should run the MV Diamonds and my Instagram. No, you know what, definitely, I'm going to go with this one. I don't know why, it's, I'm just set on it, so let's just go with it. I can always change it. Like I said before, I've got plenty of stickers, so if I change my mind, I can always come back and mix it up. The good thing about the, the whole Wii U thing is that it's, the sticker that is, is that it's actually quite long and it has places that you can cut into, like right now. I'm going to give this a little trim just in there. That is flexibility and I'm going to do it also here. Those little pressure points, they might not seem like much, but I'm telling you, could save me in the long run here. Alright, there we go. I don't think I cooked it too bad. That definitely going to need some heat treatment. I think the rest of the letters actually turned out sweet. It's just those last few, like you can see in the W there, the twist, but that's just to get it level. I'm not a pro sticker doer. I'm just giving you guys an insight as to what it's like being a pro repping your brands. So there we go. I actually could have moved it back a little bit, which probably would have prevented that, but oh well. Let's give it a peel. I think it still turned out sick. I like it. So I'm going to rep it. Yeah, and no, I'm going to put that one over here. This is one I really should have cut prior, but oh well. No time like the present. Already you can see the massive relief. That one's just gone down. I think that looks sick. I can even run one or two more. I'm, I know that that's kind of sat a bit further back than I probably needed it to, but still, I think that looks really cool there, especially if you're looking from behind. You can kind of see a bit, a bit of both on either side. See, this color just pops on this helmet. I really do love it. It was so funny today because I don't smoke or anything. I had to go and buy a slider. And um, I was just like walking in the store like, yo, can I get a lighter? And they just looked at me like, you you look like you've, you're really nervous or something. I don't know why, but they were just looking at me like, dude, this guy's sus. The other thing too, if you've got like little leftover stickers, you can always run them. Like I've got so many in here that I can just run to fill gaps and stuff. Over like, I kind of like it clean how it is. Got all my sponsors on there. Got my YouTube. Now it's just the most important thing is finding where to put this. Can run at the back. I think that's probably, to be honest, where it's going to go. I don't have to look at it then. It's just going to be there. It's not centered though, which will kind of piss me off. I honestly don't know where I'm going to do it, but I'm, I think that's the best spot. I could even just get like that Instagram that I cut off. You know what? Actually, I am going to do that. I think that's going to be the coolest way. I'm just going to do it. The one thing I've learned about this is you just kind of got to send it. You know, there's always going to be, you never really know what the outcome's going to be until you do it, but just do it, as Nike would say. Sneaky plug, sponsor me. Seriously, I need to get my eyes checked out. I don't think I'll put any of these on really straight. And it's probably going to drive any of you viewers nuts if you're anything like me. At the end of the day, it's just a helmet. It protects your head and that's its main job. So there you go. I think that actually looks really neat. I don't know if I'll put the ad on. No, I'm going to keep it just like that. So there you go, guys. The wrap of my helmet. The most important thing is to remember to rep those companies that rep you and of course at the end of the day it is a marketing tool if you want people to see what you're doing check out brands that you're riding or whatever the best way to do it is to wear them ride them represent them in any shape or form and in return i'm sure you'll get some love so thanks for watching this video guys Before I end this video, I really want to say a massive thank you to four very special people. Number one, Dazza from Monster. Two, Russo Projects. 
three, Brian from the shop, Pro Scooter Lab, Enchanted Hills, and four, Laurie Ma. Without those four, I wouldn't have been able to get the stickers done and give you guys an insight as to what it's like being a pro rider. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like me to make more, comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching, guys.